government will ultimately decide if the U.S. makes the time change permanent. Now we want to know what you think. Should the U.S. get rid of daylight saving time changes? To vote, head over to our WHIO News app and click on the drop-down menu on the top left. From there, go to Vote Now under the Live tab, or you can go to whio.com slash vote now. I'll have those results for you in about 15 minutes. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with Chief Meteorologist McCall Friday's. Oh, well, staying up late to play does sound nice. Today would not have been the day to do that. <laughs> no, it wasn't. We had the heavy rain and even some thunderstorms that came through this afternoon, feeling a lot more like spring than the winter season that we are actually still in. Now, uh, meteorological spring began at the beginning of the month. Uh, the actual first day of spring is in until less than about two weeks or so. I think it's uh, March 20th. I don't know the exact date off the top of my head. Look outside right now. We can see that it is a wet night across the Miami Valley, and that's from the abundance of rainfall that we had earlier today. But notice our temperature still sitting in the 50s right now when our average daytime high for this time of year is around the mid-40s. We're still above normal. All that said, though, these temperatures are going to be cooling off as we head into the next few days, and I'll show you just how cool it gets in a few moments. Live Doppler 7 radar still holding on to some light rainfall, especially Dayton and to the south and southeast. I'll get you in close into the central part of Montgomery County, including the city of Dayton with some light rain showers. Drier up toward Huber Heights and Englewood, but there is rain to the south, down close to Miamisburg into Centerville, even as far east into Greene County as Beaver Creek, Fairborn, and Xenia. Further south and southeast, Butler and or Warren and Clinton County, should I say, still dealing with that steadier rainfall just southeast of the Lebanon area and southeast of Interstate 71. Big picture view, you can see this large line of heavy rainfall and storms still pulling to the east. High pressure northwest with the clear skies in northern Indiana and Illinois will settle in as we move into the day tomorrow. Temperatures much cooler to the north and northwest because the cold front has now moved on through. In fact, we've seen a wind shift and we're now out of the north and west. We're at 54 in Dayton right now, 47 in Salinas. So you can see that cooler air is going to be spilling on in. Winds, as expected, have died down since earlier today, but they'll be weakened just for a brief period of time. You'll notice on our Futurecast wind gust map by tomorrow morning, light and variable winds there at 7 a.m. Into the afternoon, though, we pick those winds right back up, and they may be gusting between 20 to 25 miles per hour, and that wind direction is still out of the north, so it's pulling in the cooler air, and you factor in that wind, and it makes it feel slightly cooler as well. A bit breezy into your Saturday, but not as windy as we've seen today or what we're expecting for tomorrow. Here's Futurecast showing the rain pushing out of the air area by daybreak at 6 a.m. You can see a cloudy sky and all of the rain should already be off to our east. Into the afternoon by midday we get some clouds to break for some sunshine. That'll be nice. And then in the afternoon the cloud cover will thicken right back up. So out the door in the morning, grab the light coat. We wake up at 42 degrees. A chilly start for you with sunglasses as we will see some of that sun tomorrow. Long sleeves for the afternoon as high temperatures are going to be getting up to about 57 degrees. Cooler than today but not as warm as we've seen, uh, or not as cool as it could be for this time of year. That's what I meant to say. 51 on Saturday, 50 on Sunday, and we will have some temperatures in the 40s and even 30s to start our mornings both days. We should be dry for Saturday and Sunday, but Sunday night into Monday, I see more wet weather pushing in and may even mix with a few snowflakes by Monday morning. Temperatures will be in the 40s with some rain likely Monday. A few more showers again on Tuesday. Thanks, Nicole. He's blind and has autism, but that is not stopping a Central Ohio teen from taking on the top-ranked wrestler in the nation this weekend.